All right, viewers, happy Monday. It is 6 p.m. Come on in, viewers. Oh, hello, something happened. We're still on. Okay. <laughs> All right, viewers, come on in. We are ready. We have a great topic. Um, we're yes. excited. We're still riding on a high from last mm, week. So yes, come on in. Yes. We want to give you all the tea. We want to get you up um, to date on what is going on. So come on in, viewers. All right, all right. All right, if you can hear us and see us okay, put um, yes in the chat. Also, uh, we need you all to like, share, um, tag some individuals in the chat uh, to get them in the room because, listen, on the Green Table Live Talk Show, we give we talk about so much. We talk about resources. We talk about um, services, anything um about senior care mm -hmm. happens here on the green table live in the um talk show so get them in the room um because listen you just never know what can help you what can benefit you um and your loved one here on the green table thank you uh Sakithia. thank you thank you thank you welcome 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 come on in all right so listen let me officially welcome you to the green table live talk show i am jessica wright and i'm ishonda blue and we are your co-hosts of the green table live talk show and your senior care experts and so we are glad to have you here on this first um, Monday in August. The time is flying. <laughs> and so, but we are glad to have you here. Um, here on the Green Table uh, live talk show, again, we talk about all things senior care, um, caregiving, because we know that this is going to touch every single household. And we right. know that individuals, when this hit home, you know, you don't know where to turn. You don't know what to do, where to go, how to get services started. And so we are here to uh, give you the ins and outs and tell you the do's and don'ts and how you can prepare yourself, better prepare yourself to get ready to take care of your loved one. And so they can live their best life um, at the end of their life. And so, um, yeah, that's what we do here on the Green Table Live talk show. So, Ishana, can you tell our viewers a little bit about who we are? Yes, just a little bit about <laughs> us. We are the sisters. Yes, affectionately known as the yes. sisters. We are registered nurses. We are co-owners of Innovative Senior Solutions. Uh, we started Innovative 17 years ago with the personal experience of taking care of our own grandmother, who was our very first client. So, yes, we know all about um, what it feels like to be a caregiver, uh, to need um, help that can be trusted, that can be relied on. Um, yes, we understand. Um, but we've been doing this now, what, 17 years um, yes. as owners of Innovative. And we also do adult daycare, which is our main thing. We do have a personal care home in Albany. Uh, we do transportation for our adult day centers. Um, yeah, that's just a little bit about us on tonight. All right. So listen, we're going to do a deeper dive because we're going to give you um, a recap. We're going to recap um, Friday, August the 2nd. It was a huge um, day for us, a day of celebration. And so we want to bring you all the recap here on the Green Table Live um, talk show. And so on Friday, on Friday, <laughs> we celebrated a lot of things. A lot of things. And so we are <laughs> terrible. We are terrible at uh, celebrating our wins, right? We talk about, uh, we'll post them and we'll move on to the next thing, right? Because we are um, go-getters. We are, um, we, we, we make it happen here at Innovative. And so we don't, we don't really 
take the time and celebrate. And so we were very intentional. Um, so Friday, we took the time, we celebrated our wins, um, shared it with our community and with um, the staff here at Innovative in our family. And so we just want to recap that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so let's jump jump right in. Hello, come on in, viewers. Hi, Miss Thomas. Hi, Miss Griffin. Come on in. Thank you all for joining us. Again, we're doing a recap from our um, Friday. We had a re grand opening, and so let's talk about that first. And as you heard, a re grand mm. opening. So yeah. Um, we are back downtown um, America's Georgia, our corporate office. Uh, we um, reconstruction. We 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 redid our office. We we uh, bought this office in 2014. I was looking back through some old pictures, and I was like, "When did we actually come to the office?" So we were actually here in 2014, mm -hmm. ten years ago. Uh, we purchased um, this building and actually finished the renovation. So finished. We mm -hmm. purchased it in 2013. Yeah. Then um, moved in and did our grand opening in 2014 here at 231 West Lamar Street. Our corporate, our corporate office now. And then 10 years ago, and so we are just excited to be back downtown. I wish I could do a tour. I don't. I don't know if it's any kind of way we could. Split, uh, split up, and then I go on a tour on my camera. If I, if I'm able to do it, I will do it on tonight. I will try to show you guys a tour of the office. I think um, everyone was really blown away mm. when they walked into the office and they thought we had like totally remodeled. We really only did cosmetic things. We put mm. in a different floor. We put in, of course, we painted. Um, we put in a lot of our signage and I think a lot of people were very, very um, impressed and really liked the signage, our mission statement and vision statement and in the colors and everything was all throughout the building. So if I'm able to do a tour, I'll, I'll go on and do it tonight. But if not, um, I'll come back and do it for y'all again later. But yeah, I think that was the first thing. We let people do tours. Like when they came in, we mm -hmm. said, you know, we the first thirty minutes was dedicated towards tours, and yeah, that was that was the interesting part. So listen, you know, I, we always have to give the backstory. So um, in 2019, we sold our in-home portion of our um, business, and we downsized. So when we sold that portion of our business, the company. Um, they took over our office space as well. And so uh, we, uh, from 2020 to, to um, a couple of weeks, a couple of months ago, we were, um, had our corporate office in our adult day center location. And it was one room, you all, <laughs> one room. And oh my God, it was like eight of us in the room. And so we were so glad <laughs> when we could come back downtown because we have how many offices do we have here and eight. eight offices mm -hmm. and they are all full and yeah so we we needed the room and um we love being downtown like since we've been downtown people have just been coming in it's visibility is everything right and so people have been stopping by um, and so we're just excited. I love being downtown. And one of the uh, features in our conference room, which is where we stay most of the day anyway, mm -hmm. especially on Mondays, Mondays is, is our meeting day. And we can see, we got like, we can see really good out the front window. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I just love being downtown. I, I like to how um, uh, people just, they see senior. They don't know exactly what we do. Um, and they'll just walk in the front door and say, well, I see senior up here and I, I need some help with my mom. Mm -hmm. or I need some help with my dad. That's just, I, I like that too. That's interesting. Yeah. Idea so, of being down here. The foot traffic, just being in the know. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's one thing that we celebrated was our grand reopening, coming back, moving our corporate office back downtown. Yeah. Um, America's Georgia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, the grand opening was, um, it was a success. Um, like I said, people were just blown away. 
with the office. Again, we really only did cosmetic um, updates, but it looks like a whole new, brand new <laughs> office. It really does. Little, little light and little paint and some floor and a do it'll yeah. just change it all up. And we did change the lighting. Yeah. Um, we wanted to make sure it was very light and airy in here. And I think we, we did accomplish that yeah. for sure. Definitely. Yeah. All right. So another thing, a second thing that we um, also celebrated was um, our franchise. So we, um, in May of this year, we officially uh, became a franchise where we got an FDD. And so uh, we franchise our adult day center. So just like uh, McDonald's, uh, Burger King, Innovative Senior Solutions is a franchise um, company. And we are one of three mm -hmm. adult day franchises. And so uh, we're excited about um, franchising and charting the way and um, just sounding the alarm and bringing opportunity yeah. uh, to individuals to invest and to make impact. I know a lot of people like be like um, when I tell people we franchised and we got our FDD and they're like, what is a FDD? And it stands for franchise disclosure document. But there is a whole like for that document, which is probably um, close to 200 pages. Um, mm -hmm. There's a lot that went behind just getting that document together. I can remember the first time we talked to the attorney and he gave us like this list. He was like, this is the list. So this is all the stuff I need. And I went through the list. I was like, okay. And he was like, I said, well, how soon can we get our FDD? And he was like, oh, I can have it to you in 90 days if you have this information back to me. And I was <laughs> like, okay. So I start going through that list again. And I start looking at that stuff. And I'm like, oh, we're going to need some help. <laughs> and so that was the first step. We did get some help to help us uh do those steps to finish that document. But basically that document is a legal document that we must have. All franchises must have it. And it's where you clearly define all the steps of your franchise and that you clearly disclose it to the franchisee. So when they um, invest in a franchise, they know mm -hmm. from A to Z, all the terms, everything about what they are basically investing is nothing um, unturned, really. Right. Um, and so that was a very interesting process. Um, but we got it. it. It took a year. Look at the, say, yay. Yes, that's right, Selena. Yay. yay. We thought it was going to be three months, Selena. It, well, you know, it <laughs> took a year. So it might yes. took a little over a year, but right. we did. I think we did. We did it now. Um, we wasn't slacking on it. Oh, we, yeah. were, we were moving pretty, uh, pretty good, very consistent through the process. But it was definitely more than what we thought. And um, but anyway, we're here. But we're glad we have. We did it. It is done. And so now we're ready to do the work. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. um, because we have a mandate. We have a calling upon um, Ishanda and I and to make a worldwide impact. And this is the way this is the vehicle that um, was given to us to make it happen. Right. And so, um, yeah, reflecting back on that. Um, <laughs> On Friday, I, I had a moment and I was like, you know, when we started 17 years ago, um, we had no idea. We had no idea uh, we would be where we are today. We started because of our grandmother. Um, it was Ishanda and I. We were our first employee. We started in a cubicle as our corporate office. We started with one county, um, you know, one service in home care because we just wanted to do that for our grandmother. And we just didn't know how much impact and how much it was needed beyond our grandmother and yeah. so once we got into it and we really started doing the work and seeing the benefits and of, of how people stand in their home um, living out their last request that like so many other people wanted this yeah. as well and so from going from that in 2007 to where we are it's like wow 
Never would imagine. I think could have imagined it. I know. Uh, and and Gaynor Chokis was uh, at the grand opening. She was one of the speakers, and she is actually the first person we went to. <laughs> um, somebody told us that she was, and at the time she was not a dean. She was she well, she was a professor, and um, at GSW, and they said, well, she's helping people write business plans. Mm -hmm. and, and me and Jessica knew we wanted to start something, and we went in and met with her and. Uh, it was just interesting listening to her mm -hmm. kind of reflect on how we, when we came to her and she said what she liked about was whatever she gave us to do, it was done. Right. Like we, we were consistent. Uh, we, whatever it was that she gave us, you know, she had no doubt that we would get it done. And she really liked that. Mm -hmm. um, and so even just listening to her. Yeah. And and when she said after um, she was talking to us, she was like, you know, I don't, I didn't really know what you ladies are going to do. You talking about, you want to get into Medicaid and you want to do this and you want to do that. And you, and you was like, she was like, I don't know, but <laughs> you know, she said, but you all have the will, the want to. And so we did it. Yeah. We knew we had, um, you know, we had we had a column, we had a purpose, we have a ministry, and um, you know, it was birthed through our grandmother and just um, you know, meeting a request for her and then just not knowing it would be a request for so many other people. So but you know what else I remember too, Jessica, about when we first started was um how we was trying to find out the information, like nobody was talking. Nobody was like freely saying, oh, you go here or you go do this. Um, now, Gaynor did help us with the business plan, but the research of the business itself. Yeah, we had to learn it. We had to figure it out. Nobody was like sharing any information. And it's still a lot of people that don't share their information now. But yeah, that um, part, that that part. <laughs> and I'm so glad we, we don't, um, you know. We have the mindset freely give and freely receive. You, you, the more you give, the more you receive. And so we've been blessed. Um, we've been so fortunate um, to have gained the expertise, the experience, and to be able to share it and to be able to bring um, to help someone else change mm -hmm. the trajectory in their family. I know how it has blessed um, our family and our communities. And so to be able to do that um, with our experience, why not? Yeah. yeah like, why not? Yeah. And so, um, yeah, I'm just glad we're able to do it. Yeah. Yeah. I think we talked about, too, on um, um, last Friday, we talked about our muscles. Mm -hmm. And um, we talked about risk taking was one of our muscles. Um, I think the fact that we're not afraid to do the work mm -hmm. is one of our muscles. Like, I will read... Uh, we will research, uh, we will do the work. And that is definitely one of our muscles. Mm -hmm. um, even with risk taking, I talked about how I took a risk and, and started a business with $20,000 loan. And hey, brand new entrepreneurs, um, really afraid to leave our jobs. We're not even thinking about leaving our jobs, actually. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't even a thought. Mm -hmm. um, this is going to be, was it going to be a side hustle? It was a side hustle. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> it was a side hustle because, until it became the main thing. Mm -hmm. And um, and so I really believe over the 17 years we've been building this muscle um, to prepare us for where we're going and we'll we'll get to that but just sharing about building that muscle taking yes. the risk um starting a business selling a business a part of the business when it was time to pivot into something else not knowing what we needed to pivot it to but we mm -hmm. we walked we did it by faith we took it we took a chance well we we always and while we are so blessed and why things just continue to work in our favor because we always do it in helping benefit someone else, mm -hmm. right? Like you said, we always share. When we sold and we pivoted, we help people start opening personal care homes. Mm -hmm. it's, it's always for the greater good. Anything that we have, um, we, we do, we have done. And, um, you know, we may have not figured it all the way out, but we did it. And it, it, and it was blessed because we were blessing others, you know? Yeah. And so I think that is why it, it always worked out. 
I'm going to say this too. I know Gaynor made the statement that um, uh, entrepreneurs take calculated risks. Now, I, I must say the the first five years um, was just faith. Like, yeah, it wasn't calculated. It was, <laughs> it was good. It was, it was good. It was, it was, it was <laughs> right from the heart. Good, just uh, a passion, mm -hmm. passion. Um, but I think right now we're taking calculated risks. And I can tell the difference. I can feel the difference. Um, yeah. What is all in building the muscle? Yeah. When we when you build the muscle, you 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 know better. You do better, and you get stronger, and you 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 take you get educated, and you you make better questions. You yeah. make better decisions, and and so um, we have a, a question. Go um, ahead. Hey, Miss Betty. Go ahead, write it in the um, chat, and we'll we'll definitely answer your question um, as we go through. But um, yeah, that's that's why we do what we do. That's that's why we've been successful um, building the muscle. Do you want to go into more? Yeah, yeah, because that's what we talked about on Friday uh, was building our muscles over the years, taking different risks, taking different pivots. Because um, we've had successes, we've had challenges. Um, it ain't all been easy. Mm. And and then we've had to make pivots and we've been pretty really we've been good about making pivots when it was time to pivot. Yeah. And that goes back to not being afraid of doing the work. That goes back to us being innovative. That goes back to us keeping an ear to what's needed in the community. So all those things have been important. But, you know, the thing that I talked about is um, why. Why is it important for innovative to go forth? And I think that was the, the theme of the night. And we first off started talking about the silver tsunami that's coming. I'm not going to say the year because that is the question of the week. But the silver tsunami is coming. And when it comes, it will be the time in our country where, it's, uh, where seniors is the largest population on Earth over 73 million seniors. There will be the largest population on earth. 65% um, of those 73 million seniors will need some type of assisted care. Um, yeah, so we, and then there's a 75% increase in the need of providers um, by the time we get to uh, the silver tsunami. However, we, we talked about how we've been going to state conferences, national conferences. We've always done that because we've always been hungry for information. We almost, always wanted to know what was going on in the industry to make sure we were keeping up what was going on in the industry. We didn't never want to get left behind. And so uh, what we're seeing is when we go into these conferences is the number of providers are already tripling. Mm -hmm. It's true and not doubling, it's tripling. Yeah. And there are a lot of home care providers more than anything because the barrier to entry is low. Like you can open a home care agency and run it out your home. Like you don't even have to have a storefront. Um, and so uh, what was concerning to me, because we had been um, communicating with some of the, the providers and things that are coming into the industry. And some of the conversation was a, was a little disturbing, um, to be quite frank, you know, just hearing the fact that some of them didn't have any experience, um, had no training. Um, the the people that they were hiring, like, I was very concerned. It was it's, it's really it really sparked a concern in us. And that's why one of the reasons innovative needs to go forth because we got to have trained quality providers yeah. out there. Not someone that just starts a business, but somebody who wants to learn how to operate it, who's trained, knows how to train the staff, knows how to care for the clients. That's what we're going to need in this industry. And uh, I'm I'm concerned. I know it's more than us out there that are, that are quality providers, but I'm seeing more mm -hmm. of those who are not yeah. than those who are. And so, um, hey, I think that is our calling right now yeah. to make worldwide worldwide impact to make sure we got quality providers out there. Most definitely, and I think it speaks 
volumes to um, the families the, um, that we serve, the, the communities that we go in, because we heard it on, on Friday when the mayor spoke. He talked about our mission. He, yeah. said, he talked about um, our core values and how that was important and how that resonated with him as being, you know, um, a part of the baby boomer generation and wanting and when it's time for needing help, he wanted a quality provider that had a mission That's that right. had core values, you know, that that spoke volumes. And so that is what um, innovative is all about. We're all about improving the lives of seniors and those with disabilities. We know that the individuals that we, um, the values that we hold uphold is integrity, honesty, professionalism, um, being passionate about what we do. So those things, that says a lot. That speaks volumes, again, um, to uh, the people that will, will join um, um, our franchise and for the individuals that we take care of. Yeah, yeah. And um, hey, Miss Carter. So, and we also talked about why we feel like we're ready mm -hmm. or we're the one um, to help make impact worldwide. And the first thing we talked about was the fact that we had the experience. Mm -hmm. How many combined years we got working? Over, over 40. 40 something combined years working as registered nurse, working as nurses, mainly in long term care. Mm -hmm. All I've ever worked with was seniors. Um, and I, I just reflected on how many, because if you ever been in a nursing home, you, you don't even have to have worked in a nursing home. If you even ever visited a nursing home, the halls are long. Mm -hmm. Yes. And most of the times on a unit, they call them a unit, you probably got about 20 to 30 people on a unit, right? And I just reflected on all the years working and walking down all those halls mm. because I was taught as a, an RN supervisor by one of the best LPNs ever mm -hmm. who had, by the time when I came on, had already been working 30 something years wow. at, uh, at the nursing home. And she taught me. And what she taught me was that we go in every room. We go in every room to make sure everybody had been turned, they were clean, they were dry, their heel protectors was on. We went in every room. And yeah. then we made another round again at mealtime to make sure everybody got their meal. Like that was the kind of uh, training mm -hmm. I had. And that's what I took with me everywhere. Um, that's caring. Yeah. <laughs> that's and that's making sure the work is getting done. And a lot of times, you know, we didn't call the, the CNAs to come help us change. We, we changed them. Um, so I just reflected over that, that, you know, starting out that way and then being able to turn that skill into a skill where I could be a, a director of nursing, mm -hmm. where I could be a consultant and still use those same uh, core values and skills, mm -hmm. but at a different level. Right. At a different level. Still walking the halls, mm -hmm. Still <laughs> going in every room, pulling back the covers, like we're going to take care of these people. Yeah. If we don't do anything else, we're going to take care of these people. And, um, you know, if you ever go into, um, let me just say this, one of the signs that people are not being kept clean and dry is it smells like urine. Mm -hmm. um, and that was like a no, no for me. Like, mm -mm. we got to keep them clean and dry. And if you do that, you prevent all the other things that happen. That's right. Skin breakdown and all the things like that. So, but anyway, I, it was just miles and miles and miles hmm. of halls that I've walked, and I know you've walked them too, and um, and different shifts, all shifts, day yeah. shift, evening shift, night shift, so, uh, done them all. Mm -hmm. And then I think I talked about how many nursing homes I actually consulted for. I think I've been in quite a number, mm -hmm. definitely over 30. Uh, went in different states. Uh, we went into Alabama. We went into the Carolinas. We went into Florida. Of course, Georgia. Um, um, yeah. Doing the same thing. 
I'm doing the same doing the thing. Way. I'm pulling back those covers and I'm making sure these people have been taken care of. I'm making sure I'm out at mealtime to make sure these, because that tells me a lot right there. Yeah. And so yeah. this is what, this is what you were talking about earlier, like people coming into the industry and they have no knowledge of that. They're coming in because it's a, a business that they can um, definitely generate a lot of wealth in and it's a huge need. And so that they don't have the foundation. Yeah. Yeah. Miss Betty just said it too. She said, ladies, how well do I know about walking those halls and them long halls at that? <laughs> and she did it for 47 plus wow. years. Yeah. Yeah. The hands on training, the 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 foundation that um, we have, you know, that is the quality. That is the standard. And that is what we want to um, present and we want to share worldwide, you know, not just coming in and trying to do something quick, fast. And, you know, we are here um, because we have purpose. We, yeah. We're here. Um, we didn't know what all the walking down the long halls, the training, all the things we're doing then. Yeah. But now we know. Yeah. Yeah, I can remember having clients who now you don't got me going into memory lane. I can just oh, well, well, listen now. We only have a, a few, uh, 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 let me see. About five minutes. Oh, goodness, we over time. Yes. Well, I, I have to share that story <laughs> later. But let me go into the next one. So we talked about we had experience and we had the expertise. Expertise came from working with all the different director of nursing and administrators and all those different nursing homes mm -hmm. over the years as a consultant. Uh, gave us expertise and not because I'm so great. It's because I learned so much from those people. Like I've worked with the best mm -hmm. to ever do it. Like I've worked with those, some of the best directive nurses. I've worked with some of the best administrators and some of the bad ones. <laughs> and, and so that they all poured into me unknowingly I learned from them and I was there to consult for them but I was also learning from them and which built the muscle hmm. and gave us the expertise and then we have the care yeah. and listen I talked about Jessica if she's ever been your nurse you won't want you don't want anybody else to care for you she's cared for me she is an excellent nurse she has the biggest heart ever and that is what's leading the care for our facilities and you just can't buy that yeah. <laughs> it's priceless that has to be something within and and you know i'm not going to go down memory line because we're on a short time but yeah. i just know that has been instilled in me from day one mm -hmm. i i know from being with my grandparents my grandmother seeing them care and seeing them um, take care of their family, take care of other individuals when family come in, the care. I mean, we just saw it all around. And so to be able to see that um, and just, you know, that just was put into me. That that's was right. just um, what, what, what I saw and, and um, that's what I took hold to. And so um, I'm just uh, glad to have um been there yeah to be able to experience it in that and to catch that um and so um to have that's why we feel like we well we know that we are the dynamic duo we're the sisters <laughs> we're the experts but we have it all right we have the expertise in knowing the policies the pre the, the procedures knowing um going in and having the hands-on in different facilities and we have the care, the passion, because we've talked to many people. They started a business. Um, they had all the plans. They had all the procedures, but it still didn't go far because they didn't have the care. You know, they didn't have the the heart to do it. They didn't put the people first and and put the needs first. And so you got to have it all. Well, then you miss you missing one. The last one. Mm -hmm. The last one is the culture. Yeah. So let me let me spell it out. So. First is the experience. Mm -hmm. Second is the expertise. <laughs> Third is the care. Mm -hmm. But last is the culture and being able to build a team just as passionate as we are about caring. Yes. And we've done just that. Just that. And anybody can't do that. 
It's something, it's a special knack. And that's all I can tell you. <laughs> it's a lot of training. It's a lot of teaching. It's a lot of repeti rep repetition. Right. Mm -hmm. um, it's a lot of holding accountable. It's all the things. It's about how you hire. It's about how you fire. I can go on and on and on. But having a culture of people who yeah. care. That's it. That's it. That is, that is the magic sauce. That is, you know, you can have, but you know what? You can have all the ingredients, but if you don't know how to mix it up, you don't know how to marinate it. You don't know how to do all the things. It's That's the recipe. So, That's the recipe. So we can, you can have all, you can have the recipe, but you got to have it within. You got to have all the, the muscles. You got to have all the things to make it really come out and come out right, right? And we yeah. have that. And so, um, again, we're just excited. We're excited about um, the wins, uh, the W-I-N-S and the wins, <laughs> the W-I-N-D-S that has um, has helped us build the muscle, has who has um, made us who we are today. And so right. we're just That's thankful right. for it all. That's right. That's right. And then the last thing that we celebrated, listen, we never celebrate. So we had like a list of stuff <laughs> that we would celebrate, like 70 years franchising, Inc. 5000, Inc. 5000. Uh, we made the list of one of the fastest growing businesses, private owned businesses mm -hmm. in the country. Uh, we find out our rank ranking on tomorrow. So we're going to come back and talk about that later because I know we've used up all our time. But uh, yeah, we, we celebrated that as well. So yeah, we may go live tomorrow and, and, and disclose our number. And so um, stay tuned. Um, this has been really great. Thank you all for um, just um, sharing and, and being with us. Um, Lily Boo, you never did put your question in. So put it in. We'll definitely still answer it later on. Um, but thank you all for um, being here with us on today and letting us recap um, our celebrations on um, Friday. So thank you all. Um, last but not least, we do have our question. Um, our question, uh, can you give us our question? Yes, our question of the week is, what year will the su silver tsunami be here? What year? Yeah, if you can put that in the chat um, right quick and we'll go ahead and we're going to, um, we'll go ahead and Excuse award me. that to you. Um, if you can put that in before we leave, let's see. Oh, look at there. Mm -hmm. Selenia Bryant is our winner. Uh, 2030, that is the year um, of the silver tsunami. Uh, listen, put on your seatbelts. That's when all the baby boomers will have boomed. Um, you know, it'll be 73 million seniors. Uh, first time in history. Third, uh, 65 and older will outnumber 13 and under. So listen, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready mm -hmm. for the silver tsunami that is coming our way in 2030. So we have a lovely bag. Selena, I will get with you so you can pick up your bag. Um, Shout out to Only Imagine because yes. we had balloons galore up <laughs> in here on Friday and it looked magnificent so mm. i know she's gonna share some pictures and i didn't get no pictures i didn't get any oh we got pictures coming though. yeah they are coming yeah. pictures and video is coming because we didn't do a good job um with our phones right <laughs> we were working and i got on selenia <laughs> about that too because she didn't she didn't take any pictures so but we do have some things um that will be coming out and you can see all the great things um that were done here at the office so all right thank you all for tuning in this has been great uh we will see you next monday here at the green table live um talk show 6 p.m see you then see you soon all right bye-bye <laughs>